10. Mr. President, don't touch her. It's normal to experience a bit of jealousy in a relationship. Most people wouldn't blame a person for getting angry seeing someone flirt with their partner or touch them. However, in some cases, the jealousy goes way too far. In 2012, during the presidential election, a woman named Aya Cooper ended up standing at a voting machine right next to President Barack Obama. While for most of us it would be a huge and exciting thing just to see POTUS live, this woman was lucky enough to stand alongside him. There was no limit to Cooper's excitement, but there was somebody in the crowd who wasn't really happy with this proximity. Her visibly jealous boyfriend, Mike Jones, jokingly interjected, Mr. President, don't touch my girlfriend. And Obama very calmly said, I wasn't planning on it. But it looked like Jones gave away his insecurity a bit too much. Obama could easily sniff out the jealousy around. And just to rub it in, the then POTUS hugged Aia and told her, you're gonna kiss me, give him something to talk about. Now he's jealous. Ugh, how embarrassing. This was a chance meeting that turned out to be something else, something that went on to become viral. Who knows how the conversation between Cooper and Jones went after the public spectacle. 9. The Misleading Text Office romance, or perceived romance, can often be a source of relationship drama, especially when a partner's boss is of the opposite gender or a teammate they work closely with. Crystal Devale was just 23 years old when she stabbed her 21-year-old boyfriend, Norberto Valentin. But why? Because she found him texting his boss and she assumed it was someone who was trying to steal her boyfriend away. What she failed to realize was that her boyfriend's boss was a man and not sexually interested in her boyfriend at all. So here's how things played out. In March 2015, when Norberto was texting his boss to and fro, she made the assumption he was texting another lady and couldn't take it. Blinded by jealousy, she didn't even take a moment to consider the consequences of what she was about to do or verify her suspicions. Instead, Crystal stabbed him to death, right there. On further investigation, it was later found that Norberto was actually just informing his boss that he would be late for work. Being impulsive is good while making travel plans, but not in every other situation, especially when it comes to killing someone. She was charged for the murder and is currently serving her time in jail. What do you think she could have done instead? Maybe just check his phone? Not great either, but better than stabbing him, right? 8. Birthday Gone Horribly Wrong Julia Hudson was excited about her birthday. We're not referring to just any Hudson here. Julia was the sister of the American superstar singer, actress, and multi-award winner Jennifer Hudson. On October 24, 2008, Julia was surprised, but not for the right reasons. It was more like she was shocked and horrified beyond belief. Her husband, William Balfour, planned to visit his wife on the way back from his tour as a surprise. However, he ended up finding a birthday present in her room, and his imagination went wild. He claimed that he assumed that the gift was from one of her lovers, and as revenge, he murdered Hudson's seven-year-old nephew, her 29-year-old brother, Jason Hudson, as well as her mother, Darnell Donerson. Balfour had shot them all multiple times and was charged with three counts of first-degree murder. He was immediately arrested after finding the murder weapon. In January 2009, he pleaded not guilty and finally, in May 2012, was sentenced to three full life sentences for a total of 120 years. Now this isn't the kind of surprise anyone would want. On her birthday, Julia lost both her family and her husband. 
The Hudsons have since announced the Hudson King Foundation for Families of Slain Victims, a foundation to care for the needs of families who have lost relatives to a violent crime. 7. Burning Jealousy A 19-year-old South African girl named Boitomelo Diamini was found charred to death in a field in 2015. During the investigation, it was found that her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend and an accomplice were responsible, and the girls were arrested and charged with kidnapping, dousing the victim in gasoline, and setting her ablaze. The guilty parties, Cynthia Mosupi and Sharon Twala, were sentenced to 18 and 14 years in jail, respectively. Mosupi was jealous of her ex's new girlfriend, Dia Mini, and her beauty. What came out during the investigation was that Mosupi had made a strange demand of her ex during their breakup. She apparently commanded her ex, who was also the father of her child, to only date ugly girls or women who were divorced or pregnant. Unfortunately for Diamini, she was none of the above, and as a result, Masupi felt that she had to kill her and get rid of the threat. 6. Husband Divorces Wife Over Animal Affection in 2013, an unnamed Saudi man decided to divorce his wife and claimed he had very strong grounds to do so. Curious to know what his wife was guilty of? Here it goes. She kissed a horse. After posting a pic of her smooch to the animal, he found the picture on her social media where she is seen posing with a horse and planting a kiss on him. Despite her husband's anger, the wife expressed no remorse about the situation and was proud and happy about kissing an Arabian horse. She went on to express how beautiful the horse was. We hope she is now free to kiss as many horses as she wishes. Come to think of it, what is the one thing that is a deal breaker in your relationship? Looks like kissing the horse was it for this Saudi man. What's yours? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. 5. Crowdfunding to Spy on Girlfriend When your partner is taking vacation without you, your mind might start to overthink. Who are they with? Are they having dinner with someone else? Such was the case for Azel Prother, a 25-year-old man from Maryland who couldn't help but think about what his girlfriend, 22-year-old Marissa, was going to be up to during her spring vacation in Miami. Since he couldn't afford to buy a ticket himself, he came up with a crowdfunding campaign on social media with a convincing sob story. Well, it must have moved people enough, for they actually helped fund his trip. He talked about his relationship with his girlfriend and how she was going on her spring break. The title of the campaign was Save My Relationship, and he elaborated on how unsafe Miami can be for a girl and that he wanted to make sure that she is safe out there. He added that he needs the public's help to fund the trip so he can ensure his girlfriend is safe and sound. And while you might think people might have trolled him, he actually managed to raise $360 which he used to buy a round-trip ticket to Miami and back. He even posted selfies of him and his girlfriend having fun. Maybe this one ended on a decent note, and the girl didn't get angry at him for crashing her vacation. Luckily for him, she considered this effort as a romantic gesture. But only Prother knew why he did what he did. This could have gone a different direction. A misunderstanding could have occurred and things could have gotten ugly. But thankfully, in this case, it all ended well. 4. Most Jealous Woman When you don't trust someone, whatever they say seems like a lie. Even if it is true, you won't believe it. What does one do in that situation? Well, meet Debbie Wood who is known to be the world's most jealous woman. 
She doubts her husband Steve Wood so much that she's jealous of any woman he talks to or is seen in pictures with. She checks his phone records, bank statements, emails, and the worst of all, she prevents him from seeing pictures of women in newsletters and magazines. Her husband Steve apparently doesn't say a thing and lives with all the conditions. Even if Steve leaves home for 20 minutes, she subjects him to a lie detector test on his return. She asks questions, like if he looked at another woman lustfully. It was determined that Mrs. Wood had been diagnosed with a condition called Othello syndrome. It is a psychological disorder that causes extreme jealousy despite no evidence of infidelity. 3. He loves me more. Wu Xia, a 21-year-old Chinese man, had broken up with his long-term girlfriend, Jun Tang, who was 20 years old. He later began dating another woman, 22-year-old Rong Zhao. During nearly three months of dating new girlfriend Rong, his ex, Jun Tang, kept harassing Wu to get back together, pleading with him and begging him to give her another chance. To stop all this, Wu decided to arrange a meeting with all three of them to talk things out, which soon turned into a colossal backfire. While Wu was simply trying to solve the dispute, the women ended up escalating things. They met at a place called Ningbo in eastern China's Zhejiang province. The situation almost immediately went from bad to worse. The girls started to argue about who was better for Wu. One comment that was made by the current girlfriend triggered the ex to jump into the river, trying to prove her point that he loved her more. The current girlfriend jumped too, to prove her point as well. Both were struggling to stay alive, begging him to save them. He was in shock and didn't know what to do. He then decided to call his brother for help and jumped in to save his current girlfriend. His brother called in the fire brigade, who helped bring the heartbroken Jun Tang out of the water. 2. Jody Arias Jody Arias was convicted of brutally murdering her ex-boyfriend. Travis Alexander at his home in Arizona in 2008, and it's one of the most famous cases of murderous jealousy in the U.S. In 2006, Arias and Alexander met at a conference held in Las Vegas, Nevada. They started to meet each other despite it being long distance as he was in Arizona and she in Palm Desert, California. They got into a committed relationship and five months later, they broke up and went their separate ways. However, they continued to maintain a sexual relationship. In June 2008, Alexander's body was found lying in the shower of his house. Amid a pool of blood, he had received two dozen stab wounds, his throat slit, as well as gunshot wounds. Investigators later found that this incident took place five days before they found the body and they suspect the murder took place on June 4, 2008. While Arias initially claimed no knowledge, she quickly changed her story when she was confronted with the fact that her DNA matched the blood found at the crime scene. She claimed that she was attacked first by two intruders who were masked. Her story changed multiple times, and during her trial, Arias testified that she ended up killing Travis Alexander, her ex, on the account of self-defense, claiming sexual and physical abuse. Her stories were not consistent with the evidence, including some photos found in a digital camera, and she was ultimately found guilty of first-degree murder and was issued a life sentence in prison. Before that, two juries had argued that she should be given the death penalty, but the judge settled for life in prison. She tried to come across as a victim. She testified for 18 consecutive days, saying the same story. But despite all the extra drama, she was still found guilty. She was given life in prison without the possibility of parole for 25 years. 1. Triggering Jealousy Gone Wrong 
Sarah Bramley, a 29-year-old who reveled in the drama of having both David Saunders and Michelle Lawson vying for her attention, made a choice that ultimately led to murder. She sent an intimate photo of herself to Saunders. It was an image of her performing a sex act on Lawson. This led Saunders to such a violent fit of jealousy that he ended up stabbing Lawson through the heart with a kitchen knife. Bramley was also jailed after she admitted she had encouraged the commission of an offense. And meanwhile, Saunders was jailed for life. Investigators revealed that it was a series of events that led Saunders to decide to kill Michelle Lawson and that Bramley had tried different ways to trigger Saunders. Thanks for watching. Do you have any stories of jealousy that you think deserve a spot in a video like this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already.